Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions about perfume making, and in particular, how to write or create a perfume formula. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create your own perfume formula. You might be familiar with some of my other perfume making videos where I go into detail about fragrance oil, fragrance load, um, fragrance oils versus essential oils, certain types of perfume bases. So I'll go ahead and link my other perfume videos in the description box below. There are some pretty comprehensive videos that I have already put out there. And so today we're gonna to be really focusing on how to write a formula. After I show you how to create or write the formula, we're gonna be making the formula that we put together here. So I'm really excited to be sharing this with you today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. In this video, I'll also be sharing percentages and amounts with you so you can see how to make this. But if you would like a full written detailed step-by-step -step tutorial with the recipe and the percentages, head on over to my Patreon campaign where you'll be able to unlock this formula and hundreds more at just the $5 level. I'll go ahead and place the link to my campaign in the description box below for you. There's so much to take advantage of, including other perfume making tutorials, skin care, hair care, candle making, soap making. There's so much. There's a community of about 3,000 makers over there now, so it's a great way to connect with me. It's a great way to connect with other makers. And we also offer four other tiers for you to take a look at and take advantage of if you like. All right, let's make some perfume. All right, first off, there is no right or wrong way to combine fragrances or essential oils. It really is a personal liking or a personal taste. You can combine anything that you think smells good together in any ratio or combination. So today we're gonna be combining some Marshmallow Fireside Fragrance Oil by Midwest Fragrance Company with some Cacao Woods Accord by Makesy.com. Now this is a combination of aroma chemicals that come together to make a beautiful, well-rounded fragrance. And the top notes of the Marshmallow Fireside are vanilla and amber. The middle notes are sugar and sandalwood. And the base notes are cedar and clove. This comes together to make a very well-rounded fragrance all by itself. It would be great for a body spray, lotion, sugar scrub, just a very beautiful fragrance. So we're gonna be combining this with the Cacao Woods Accord. Now an Accord is a combination, combination of different essential oils blended together to create a certain essence or fragrance. So the Cacao Woods Accord is a base note um, so this comes from the perfume making kit, although you can buy the Accords separately, but the kit comes with 12 top notes, 12 middle notes, and 12 bottom notes or base notes. And so this is part of the base notes. This is gonna really help to anchor down these top and middle notes that come from the Marshmallow Fireside. And this is, this is considered a sweet and woody fragrance. So this is essential oils of patchouli, orange, coffee, vetiver, amorous, birch tar, guaic wood, and cedar wood oils. Now, you cannot just make your perfume with your fragrance oil and your fragrance accord alone. You're gonna need something to dilute down the fragrance. This is very concentrated. It does not go directly on your skin. And you're also gonna need a solvent. So today, for our perfume maker's base, we're gonna be using the Perfumer's Alcohol by Makesy.com. It is made from a high proof grain alcohol it's pretty natural and then this is an optional ingredient you don't have to use this but it's called aroma fix and this is a fragrance fixative i like to use this because it helps the perfume to stick on your skin a little bit longer all right so now that we know what we're using it's time to go ahead and write the formula so i kind of like to write my formulas backwards and that will make more sense as we go along so we know that this perfumer's alcohol can take up to 30% fragrance, meaning 30% of your recipe, a maximum of 30% of your recipe can be actual fragrance. I know that I like to keep my fragrance in a recipe around 20 to 30%. In this particular formula, I'm gonna be using 30% fragrance total. 15% of the Marshmallow Fireside and 15% of the Cacao Woods. And how I do that is I take the amount that I'm gonna be making. 
and I create percentages. I'm gonna be using this little perfume bottle. This is gonna be my little tester to see if I wanna make more of this. So I'm making a small bottle first. So this is where your percentages get really, really important and where people can get confused. So this bottle takes 34 grams total liquid volume. So we're gonna be using 34 grams as our total weight. So 34 grams is my recipe batch. 34 grams is also going to be my 100%, okay? So 100% of my recipe equals 34 grams. Now, I'm gonna be using Marshmallow Fireside at 15%. So how I figure out how much is 15% in a 34 gram batch? Well, we're gonna go like this. 15% is 34 grams, that's my total batch weight, 34 grams times 0 0.15 or 15%. And that gives us a weight of 5.1 grams of marshmallow fireside. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and make the perfume while we're talking about that. So I have this little tiny beaker here and a little tiny scale. I'll go ahead and list, I'll put the link to where I purchased these in the description box for you. So 5.1 grams of, fi of marshmallow fireside is 15% of the recipe. So we're just gonna drop in 5.1 grams. I also have some really good perfume making videos on how to take a look at how much to use. Not all fragrance oils, I say this a lot I know, um, or essential oils, they're not all the same, meaning some of them could be safe at skin safe at 1% and some of them can be skin safe almost up to 100%. Um, these two fragrance oils are in a very safe range at 15% each. Okay, I'm actually gonna be taking a little bit out of there. All right. And then we're gonna next be combining in the cacao woods. So the cacao woods is also at 15% of my recipe. So remember I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be one part to one part. So the parts of these fragrance oils are both 15% making them equal. So the 15% plus the 15% is gonna equal the 30% total fragrance percent of the recipe. So again, it's just gonna be 34, which is our batch size, 34 grams times 0 0.15 or 15%. That's gonna give you your amount of 5.1 grams of cacao woods. So next up, I wanna go ahead and add in my fixative. Now this particular fixative, this comes from lotioncrafter.com, can be used anywhere between a two and 5% of your recipe. So I'm actually gonna be using this at 5% of my total recipe. So again, we're gonna take the total batch weight of 34 grams. Remember, that's what fits into this little container here is 34 grams and we're gonna go ahead and put in 5% fixative. So 5% of 34 grams. So again, you're just gonna take your 34 grams times 0.05 or 5%, and that gives you a total weight of 1.7 grams fixative. This is also gonna give your perfume kind of a 
glossy like skin feel just a little bit of a, like a high sheer silky finish have to be careful here measuring out just a tiny bit all right perfect all right so the last thing i'm going to be adding into this formula here is my perfumer's alcohol now how do i know how much to put into this formula well i've already done this is where the backwards part comes in for me i already know that i've put in this is out of a total batch weight of 34 grams i've already put in 5.1 of marshmallow fireside 5.1 grams of cacao woods and 1.7 grams of fixative for a grand total of 11.9 grams of everything else so again we're trying to make a 34 gram recipe so i'm going to take the difference between the two the 34 grams minus the 11.9 that we've already put into this formula and that comes up with 22.1 grams or 65 percent of the recipe 34 times 0 0.65 or 65% is 22.1 grams. Your numbers should actually add up to 34 grams, which mine do, and your percentages should add up to 100%. So we're gonna go ahead and place in our 22.1 grams. Whoops, we're gonna try not to spill. Our 22.1 grams of perfumer's alcohol. I do like this base. Um, it has a little bit of a smell. The base has its own little smell, but it does dissipate once mixed in with the fragrance and it actually, um, over the course of a few days, it seems to go away completely. So if you let it sit and rest for a few days after you make it, you'll notice it gets better. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a little stirring rod and I'm gonna stir to combine my fragrance oil, my accord, and my fixative into the perfumer's alcohol. I'm just making sure everything gets well combined. Um, and as you can see, this perfumer's alcohol base is an excellent solvent. So at 30%, the formula is fragrance oil at 30% and you can see it's completely homogenous at 30% which is wonderful. We don't have any floating oil beads or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a, a smell. That smells really good. Again, it does get a little bit better after it sits, meaning you won't smell that base. You won't smell the perfumer's alcohol base after a while. You just need to give it a few minutes to combine. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and pop it into this cute little perfume bottle. This square shape is so cute. I got these on Amazon. I'll also put the link below for you. And I'm gonna pop a label on here and show you a finished picture of what it looks like to have a custom label. So I'm just going to use this tiny little funnel here. We're going to slowly pour in the perfume. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and pop the lid on. And 
And there you go. That's how you write a perfume formula and that's how you create a perfume with it. I'm going to go ahead and show you a picture of what it looks like to have a label put on it, but I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please leave me some comments and questions below. That really means a lot to me. Share this video with a friend and why not subscribe to my channel? All right, everybody. Catch you on the next video. Bye. Keep shining.